Hi, hello guys, Bernie is here. On this tutorial guys, you will learn on how to paint step by step beautiful and colorful garden and many more. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more free painting tutorial in the near future and also updates on my channel. You can also find the list of colors that I used to this demonstration. Just scroll down below to the description of this video. You can find the list of colors. And now for this tutorial guys, I'm going to use the uh, 10 inches by 12 inches plain white canvas. First thing to do is I'm going to create the first layer background. I'm going to paint directly the uh, titanium white here. I just paint directly the titanium white so that it will uh, create a uh, very the background. The background is the titanium white, but I'm going to paint uh, titanium white more so that when I blend the color, it will uh, create a very nice. Uh, color blending here for my background. The next thing to do is I'm going to paint directly the blue color. The blue color. I'm going to leave this one a light color here. I'm using the one inch flat brush. Just paint the blue color here. I'm going to add small water to my brush brush here or the brush just blend this blue color with the color background then I'm going to add more titanium white at this area this is my light source that's why I'm going to leave this one light color Just observe my brush strokes guys. This is my first layer color background. Just paint more blue color here. This one also. I'm going to paint more blue color. Just blend this blue color to the titanium white that I painted earlier so that it will create a very nice in color blending here for my first layer color background and I'm going to paint more titanium white on this area here just paint more titanium white and just blend this titanium white to the blue color like what I did here create more nicer uh, color effect to this first layer background for my painting here just looking good then I'm going to paint the uh, blue and or just mix the color of blue and also the Mars black or the black color just small amount of black then should be more blue or the blue color I'm going to paint to this area here at the very uh, lower portion of this background color that I painted earlier just blend also this color so that it will have create a very nice color uh, effect just like what I did here the uh, upper portion is the light uh, more light than the uh, lower portion I'm going to create the garden in this painting that's why I paint first the be color background it's a very nice background now just looking it I'm going to clean my brush first before I'm going to continue blending on that area there. Just add more titanium white to this area here. 
at the uh, center or the upper portion of this canvas and also just blend these colors smoothly and nicely you should not uh, push hardly with your brush so that it will uh, easy to blend this color and create a very nice color of blending color blending it's very nice now I'm clean my brush first before I'm going to continue there the next step is I'm going to uh, paint directly the yellow color using again this one inch brush I'm going to uh, paint directly the yellow color for my trees or the color of the trees here the fur the blurry uh, trees gonna use the uh, yellow for this. this this is my trees here the blurry effect and just observe my brush stroke so that it will uh, you can follow what I'm doing to the my tree to 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 make it blurry it's very nice now very nice just there it's very uh, then after that I'm going to uh, mix the color of the blue color and the purple just small amount of purple and just mix these two color the uh, blue and the purple just add more purple color just paint here I'm using again this one inch flat brush. This is my tree, another color of my tree to this area here. It's a very nice, very nice tree. Very, uh, the blurry tree on this side. Just there, just blend this color the color background then the next is I'm going to mix again the uh, the blue and also the purple but it should be more purple color just paint here for another color of my trees this area Just looking good. Just continue adding this color here. Very nice. Very nice that there, that area. Then the green color, I'm going to add the, the green, the uh, hooker green. Just paint also the green color, the hooker green. I'm going to paint this here and just blend. Just observe what I'm doing to my green so that it will. Uh, you can create your uh, can create the blurry uh, blurry effect. This of this here of this tree. Just looking good. Again, I'm using this one inch flat brush. Just observe there. Paint more the hawker green. Just paint more here the hawker green. Just there. Paint again the hawker green. And more hawker green, little bit upper portion. Just there, it's very nice. Then this one, I'm going to add also this one here. I'm going to mix the color of the blue and the marsh black to create the darker blue color. 
just add small mask black or the black color. You can also use the lamp black color, blue and the mask black color, or maybe you can use your uh, lamp black. Just paint here for the darker uh, area or the base color of this tree on this area here. Just there. It's very nice. I'm going to clean my brush. Then I'm going to paint also the. I'm going to add more detail on this area. I'm going to paint directly the uh, yellow color for more additional color of the trees in this area here. The yellow color. Just there. And also this one, I'm going to add yellow color using this one inch flat brush. Just there, it's very nice. Then I'm going to add also the uh, cadmium orange or the orange color. Let's paint here and also just blend this cadmium orange. Let's blend. Just there, it's very nice. Just blend this color. I'm going to add more cadmium orange here for another color of the trees in this area or this side cadmium orange. Just observe my brush strokes, guys, so that it, uh, so that you can easily easily uh, follow what I did here. Just there, it's very nice now. Then just continue. I'm going to uh, add more color of the uh, tree, the uh, light green color. I'm going to add this one here, the light green color. Just there, and also the cadmium orange. I'm going to add more color of the trees in this area, cadmium orange. Cadmium orange, the orange color for more uh, color of the tree. This area, just like that. There, it's very nice and very uh, color of the tree. Then after that, I'm going to uh, mix the color of the blue and the titanium white. It should be more uh, titanium white to the blue color. So that it will create a lighter sky blue. Just paint here. To minimize or the uh, fog effects. Create the fog effect here. Just there. Just continue adding with the uh, mixing. Just continue mixing the uh, titanium white in the blue color. Just paint here for the fox effect to this area. It's very nice, very nice. Just there, it's very uh, beautiful, uh, blurry effect to this area of the tree. Just nice, very key. Very beautiful here. Just mix again the uh, titanium white in the blue color to create more lighter uh, sky blue. Just paint this area or just paint directly the titanium white to minimize more this color here so that it will emphasize more uh, light color to this area or the highlight or the light source on this area here. Just looking good, very nice. A blurry color background here.
just there it's very uh, now next thing to do is I'm going to uh, create also the I'm going to paint directly the uh, red color or the scarlet red in this area scarlet red for another color the trees on the side here it's nice now it's very good looking tree just blend also this scarlet red to the uh, color background to create the blurry effect now it's very nice just before you blend this color you should always uh, clean this uh, paint in the in your brush here using the rug I have the rug in my hand then after that I'm going to blend again so that it will create a very nice color blending to this uh, tree just there It's very nice now. Let's continue here. I'm going to add the dark color on this area. I'm going to paint directly the lamp black or the Mars black color. Or you can use your Mars black or uh, lamp black color. I'm going to paint directly the Mars black color, but it should be a uh, blend this color so that it will uh, create a very nice. Uh, yeah, dark color here just like what I did here I blend the color it's very nice now and also this one I'm going to uh, paint directly the Mars black color just blend also this color so that it will uh, create a very uh, nicer uh, shading or the uh, base color or the dark color the base color here the Mars black or you can use your lamp black color also just there then after that I'm going to wait this one until it dry so I'll be back if this painting is dry before I'm going to leave just add here I'll be back if this First layer background for my uh, garden here. It's dry, completely dry. Before I'm going to proceed and continue everything here, I'm going to down, going down to this canvas until it's done. So I'm going to wait that one, guys, until it dries. So see ya. Now let's continue here. I'm using half inch flat brush. So I'm going to. Uh, Mix the color of the red color and also the Mars black or the black color. I'm going to paint here, just paint here with the base color of my trees to this area. Just there, just blend also this red color. My first layer background is almost dry, but not totally uh, dry. Just to continue this one, I'm going to add a dark color here to the base color in that area. And after that, I'm going to mix also the cadmium orange and also small amount of Mars black, just small amount to the cadmium orange. Mars black. Let's paint here using this using this half inch flat brush. I'm going to paint this one here for my trees or my tree on this side. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, mix the color of the titanium white and small amount of Mars black to create the gray color. Just add more Mars black. Just there to create the gray color. I'm going to paint here for my trunk of this tree. Just paint directly. 
from my trunk just mix again the titanium white and the Mars black color just small amount of Mars black to create the gray color just paint here for my trunk of this tree going down just there then after that I'm going to uh, paint directly the titanium white on, at this side because this area is facing to this light source that's why I'm going to paint directly the titanium white for the highlight effect just there and at the back portion or the center a little bit center I'm going to paint the Mars black color the center of this wood or the trunk the Mars black color then just blend this Mars black color the center here the Mars black color going down there it's very nice just observe my brass strokes guys just there then after that just adding more titanium white for more uh, a highlight effect titanium white for this tree just there and after that the cobalt blue I'm going to directly uh, paint the cobalt blue at this area the back portion cobalt blue for this trunk here Just there, it's looking good. I'm going to change my brush into a smaller uh, round brush, then I'm going to paint also the Mars black. Just paint here for more uh, detail of this trunk. The Mars black color, I'm not going to paint everything here, but just selecting the area for this Mars black. Just there, it's very nice now. Then after that, I'm going to add also the uh, the uh, gray or just mix the color again, the gray color, titanium white, and the black color. I'm going to add also the uh, branch, this tree, using the gray color. Oops, just add marsh black or the lamp black. Can use lamp black also. Just add here for the uh, branch and the twigs. Just there. Just add more branch here. The branches. Just continue adding with the branch and also the twigs the branches of this tree using the gray color just there and I'm going to use also the black color for a little bit of shading of these twigs and also the branch so the Mars black color at the uh, back portion these twigs and the branch or the branches adding the marsh black color just there and the titanium white I'm going to paint directly the titanium white for the uh, highlight effect titanium white I'm not going to paint everything in the titanium white, just selecting the area. Just 
is there. Now I'm going to paint directly also this one in uh, orange color, the cadmium orange for the uh, leaves of this tree. Just there. It's very nice. Color of the leaves to this area. Just continue adding these leaves using this uh, number uh, 4 flat brush. Just continue here. Adding this leaf color for the leaves of this tree. It's very nice. Just there. And very color of this nice color of this tree. Just there, it's very nice. It's adding more cadmium orange to this tree here for the leaves color. Just there, it's very looking nice on the tree on that area there. For more highlight color of this trunk, I'm going to add also the titanium white at the at the lower portion of this trunk. Uh, the titanium white that's there in the rushina color I'm going to add the rushina color also and this back portion the Mars black color just there now I'm going to continue this one here. I'm going to add also the tree. So I'm going to paint directly the purple color. I'm going to change my brush into the half inch, half inch flat or the half inch flat brush. I'm going to paint directly the purple color at this area. Purple color for the base color. My tree on the side. The purple. Let's paint directly the purple color in this area here. Just there. Purple color into the upper portion. Just there, the purple color. Just paint also the here, the purple color for this tree. That one there. Okay, just there. It's very for the base color of the purple. Then the next thing is to do is I'm going to uh, add the uh, Mars black color. For the uh, trunk and also the uh, branches of this tree, Let's paint directly the Mars black color. It's there. So this one, I'm going to add trunk using the Mars black color. Just add also the bronze. Branches and also the twigs of this tree. The branches first before the twigs. So I'm going to create the twigs. I'm going to create fir first the branches to the trunk, just there. So this one here, I'm going to create the bronze. Just. And also this one, I'm going to add more Mars block than the, the bronze.
you can also use the uh, pointed brush for this so that it qua it will easily easily created the create the branch of this tree just there then after that i'm going to uh, add also the directly paint the blue color the cobalt blue at the back portion of this trunk just there the cobalt blue at the back portion just looking good In my trunk on that area there just cobalt blue just there then I'm going to add also the the cadmium orange for my highlight of this trunk here cadmium orange just there it's very nice now for my trunk on this area using the cadmium orange I'm going to paint for uh, a little bit highlight of this trunk cadmium orange just there it's very nice now then after that I'm going to create also the uh, highlight of these leaves there I'm gonna mix the color of the uh, um, what do you call this one? The purple and the titanium white to create the lighter purple, more light. Just paint here for the highlight effect to this purple color of the tree. Just mix again the purple or just add small amount of uh, cobalt blue to the purple and titanium white. Just paint here. create more nicer color of the leaves to this area this one here just there it's very nice now then I'm going to paint directly the cobalt blue for a more highlight effect to this tree to create more uh, nicer effect to this tree here the cobalt blue for the highlight just nice in that area there and just add more cobalt blue here for the for the leaves of this tree this one also I'm going to add the cobalt blue just there Add more cobalt blue here. This one also. Just add small amount of cobalt blue for the highlight effect of this tree. Just looking good in that area there. Then after that, I'm going to add a uh, small, uh, small, uh, more trees to this area. I'm going to uh, mix the color of the scarlet red and also the Mars black color. To paint this one here for more the color or the base color of the trees to this area. I'm going to add more trees. Oops, it's there. Then the Mars black color. Just there. For the base color on that area there. Then after that, I'm going to mix the color of the marsh black and the cobalt blue. Oh no, the scarlet red and the cobalt blue. Then just add titanium white to create this color. Or just add more titanium white. Then add small amount of scarlet red and just paint here. For the flowers in this area, just 
just there. It's very nice. Good looking flowers. And also the titanium white. I'm going to add also the titanium white. Just there. Then the scarlet red. I'm going to paint directly the scarlet red for the flowers here. Then the titanium white, I'm going to paint also the titanium white. Paint titanium white for the flowers. Now let's continue here. I'm going to add also the uh, color of the grasses here, of the plants, and also this one here. Before I'm going to continue everything here, or just paint directly the cobalt blue here. Just paint directly the cobalt blue. Just there. Then I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue and the titanium white to create the sky blue color. Just paint here for the highlight of this, this highlight. This one there. In the light green color, I'm going to add also the light green color. light green color with the color of the leaves to this area using this light green color just there then this one I'm going to add also the color of this uh, leaves to that area I'm going to paint directly the the hooker green just paint directly the hooker green on this area here just blend also Just blend this hawker green on this area. And after that, I'm going to uh, add the yellow green color. Just adding this yellow green color here. Just observe my brush strokes, guys. This one also here, the yellow green color. Just one there, it's very nice, yellow green color. Very nice now, just there. Then after that, I'm going to mix the color of the purple and titanium white. Purple and the titanium white. Just like that there, and just paint here. Just paint directly for more color of the leaves or the flower in this area. Just there, it's very good looking. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to add the gate of this uh, garden. I'm going to paint directly the Mars black color. It should be for the base color for my gate in this area. Just blend this Mars black color. Just observe there. one here Let's paint directly the Mars black color just there paint Mars black color just blend also this Mars black color this is my gate just there it's very nice and very good looking 
then the scarlet red I'm going to add also the scarlet red here for the flowers inside this garden just there it's really good looking there then the scarlet or the cadmium orange also I'm going to add the cadmium orange for the highlight of these plants just there it's really good looking and very nice plants in that area then the yellow color I'm going to add also the yellow color or the cadmium yellow you can also use the Hansa yellow for this or the medium yellow just there it's very nice it's very nice in that area there very good looking at that area then I'm going and also I'm going to paint directly the hooker green on this area here for my darker uh, plants inside this garden paint directly the marsh black color here marsh black color just blend this marsh black color create a nicer effect just there, it's very good looking. Now let's continue here. You have a very nice and a very beautiful uh, layer of this uh, painting. Then after that, the uh, hooker green. I'm going to add also the hooker green for the darker uh, plants. darker plants or dar darker leaves that are not affected by too much light but I'm going to add also the light green color for more uh, highlight effects highlight effects to these leaves just there is very nice just continue adding with the highlight using the light green color Just continue. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to paint also the hooker green there. Just paint directly the hooker green for my leaves in this area. Just paint around this Mars black color. The hooker green. Just paint directly the hooker green. Just paint directly the hooker green. Is here is directly paint the hooker green just there it's very nice now for my plants in that area there Just there, very nice. Let's continue adding with the hawker green. Now it's good and very nice. Then after that, I'm going to uh, mix the color of the rushina, the rushina and the uh, marsh black color. Just mix this color and add small amount of titanium white. Just paint here. I'm going to. Uh, add uh, stairs this area then the Mars black color and the Rushina I'm going to mix the Rushina and the Mars black color I'm going to add on this area here just there for my stairs this area in the Mars black color a little bit lower portion There, add again the uh, Rushina and the Mars black color. Mix again the Rushina and just add titanium white. Just add titanium white to create this kind of color. Just paint here. 
just blend this color to the Mars black color. Just paint this area. Just there, it's very good looking. And just mix again the titanium white, the Mar Rushina, and also the small amount of Mars black. Just small amount of Mars black. Just like that. Just add here, just paint directly, or just add small amount of titanium white to create more lighter color. And just paint here. Now let's continue here. I think this one is dry now, so I'm going to uh, feed this uh, plants and flowers here. I'm going to feed using the uh, wash effect. For that, I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue in titanium white. And then to create the wash effect there, I'm going to add more water to this uh, sky blue color. Let's add more water and just, just paint here. Also this one. Just, just do like this this one here. Now I am creating the wash effect. Or I'm doing the wash effect to feed these uh, plants and also the flower in this area uh, inside the garden so that it will uh, create a realistic color or realistic plants in that there just looking good now it's feeding the feeded color there this one is I'm going to add also the tree in this area or the plants but first I'm going to paint the uh, la black color here I'm going to paint everything here, the black color. I'm going to add subject to this area. It's like I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to add a waterfall, a small waterfall on that area there. Before I'm going to proceed this one, I'm going to finish this first. I'm going to add a uh, tree in this area. I'm going to paint directly the red color. For my plants, another color of the tree in this area or the plants. Just there, looking good in that area there. It's very nice. And after that, I'm going to paint also the orange or the cadmium orange for this. For my uh, leaves, this here, the plants. Just there, the cadmium orange. Just looking good in that area there. And also this one, I'm going to mix the color of the red color and also the titanium white to create the pinkish color. Just paint here for the highlight effect. This uh this plant, plants are not there. Then I'm going to add more titanium white to the color that I mixed earlier, the red and the white, to create more pinkish color. Just uh, add more uh, titanium white to lighten that there for highlight color of this plant. Or a yeah, small tree. Just there. Very nice color of that area there. And after that, I'm going to add also the yellow color. Or the cadmium yellow for more highlight effect to this plant, to this area. Just there. It's very good looking and very nice plant there then the light green color I'm going to add also the light green color here to create more color effect to this area or more plants to make this very nice garden 
that's it just continue adding with this light green color there then the yellow green color I'm going to add also the yellow green color for the younger leaves or the or the highlight of these plants Let's add the yellow green color just there it's very nice and very good looking plants that's there it's very nice now and then I'm going to add a uh, something uh, small green on this here on this tree I'm just paint directly the light green color just small amount of green color for this tree to create a very nice just selecting the area I'm going to add a uh, light green to the dark area of this tree to create more uh, a nicer color of this tree just add a light green color there just a small amount of light green color I'm not going to paint everything here because it's like just there very nice a very nice tree in that area there I'm going to add also the small a very small amount of yellow green just a very small amount just there and also this one very nice tree here just add small amount of yellow green just small amount there very nice just there just looking good that area there now let's continue in this below this one here I'm going to add I think I'm going to add a small waterfall in that area so I'm going to paint the uh, or just mix the color of the Rushina and the Mars black color just paint to create this kind of color just continue here. I'm going to create a very, very small waterfall in this area. These are the uh, cliff in this area here. Just there. It's very good and very nice area on this area. Just looking good that area there how about I'm going to add also the uh, cadmium orange for the more uh, color of this stone the cadmium orange just a small amount of cadmium orange here just there it's very nice now just blend also this color to this area Going that there, just there, it's very nice now. Then I'm going to paint directly the cobalt blue for the water, falling water, or the waterfalls. Just small amount of, uh, it's there, it's small uh, waterfall for this area. Just there, it's very nice. Cobalt blue, I'm going to continue adding this cobalt blue. Just looking good. It's very, very nice. Just blend this color to create a very interesting subject in this area. Or a very good looking subject. That area there. Now after that, I'm going to paint the yellow on this area here. Yellow color. Just paint directly the yellow color. Just there. The yellow color here and after that I'm going to paint also the cobalt blue or the blue color in this area for my waters that area the water color here I'm going to create the water color a little bit uh, darker dark color or dark water because this area is not affected by the lights coming to this area that's why I'm going to add a small amount to light green color also for the color of the water just there it's very good looking here just continue adding with this color and I'm going to mix the color of the cobalt blue and the titanium white cobalt blue and the titanium white just there and then I'm going to add this one here the waterfalls
just observe my brush strokes guys so that it will uh, it can always follow let's add more tight in white to the cobalt blue to create more lighter sky blue just looking good here in a titanium white adding the titanium white here for my waterfalls effect to this area just there just continue adding this color for my waterfalls effect to this area Just looking good. For that, I'm going to add also the uh, the algae to this area. I'm going to add the algae. So I'm going to add the light green color for the algae effects to these stones here. Just to create a very nice. We just paint first the lamp black color lamp black color to separate the water and the uh, algae or to create the uh, shading of these stones here just looking good in this area here very nice place very nice garden then this one the cadmium orange to this area Cadmium orange, just blend this cadmium orange here. Create these tones to that area there. Then the Rushina color, I'm going to add also the Rushina color here for the color, more color of this area for the soil and the stones. Just looking good in the area there. Then after that, I'm going to add more light green color for the algae effect to these stones here just continue adding this one here and the algae here I'm gonna add here for a very nice algae just there it's very nice and very good looking just blend this color just looking good and also this one here this side here I'm going to add also the algae at first I'm going to paint that mars black color the, or the black color to more uh, to create more detailed to this area just there it's very good looking at that area there then the orange Or the cadmium orange that is here, the stones. Just looking good. And also the rushina color. Just add the rushina. Just looking good in that area. Very nice. Then the light green color. Going to add the light green color now. Just looking good. Uh, first, I'm going to give detail this first. I'm going to darken this a little bit using the black color or the Mars black. Going down, light. Just darken this. Just there. It's very nice. Then after that, I'm going to add also the light green color to continue adding with the uh, Algae effect to the stone. Just there. Very nicer color. Just looking good in that area there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, finish this first. The uh, little. I uh, just mix the uh, darker a little bit. Uh, sky blue color. Let's paint here. For the uh, color of the water in this area, then sky blue, lighter sky blue, just mix the color blue and the white to create the uh, more lighter sky blue. 
to paint here for my water weaves to this area just like that there or I'm going to mix the color of the uh, hooker green and also the titan white the hooker green and the titan white to create the lighter green just add here for my water color in this area just looking good then the blue color or the cobalt blue just add also the cobalt blue for more water effects or water color effects to this area just there it's very nice now then after that the uh, titanium white I'm going to add also the titanium white for the bubbles bubbles effect just blend this titanium white to create a very nice uh, falling water there just continue here adding this bubbles effect just there and also this one I'm going to use smaller brushes for that just add more tight in the white for the bubbles effect or the weaves effect to this water just there It's very nice. It's very nice water here. I like this uh, basic waterfall on that area there. It's very nice. Now the uh, light green color. I'm going to add also the light green color, or maybe yellow, yellow color. Just blend this yellow color, the color water. Or just I'm going to mix the yellow and the sky blue color sky blue and the yellow three colors just paint here very nice it's very nice here for my water effects to this area in the cobalt blue just add in the cobalt blue for the weaves of the water just there. Now let's continue here. I'm going to uh, add the hooker green directly paint the hooker green here. Just paint directly the hooker green in this area for my water color to that area there. Hooker green. Just there. Paint directly the hooker green, then blend this hooker green to the yellow color. Then the cobalt blue, just add more cobalt blue. I'm, I always uh, find the uh, nicer color or color of the water here. That's why I'm going. To, I change always the color of the water so that it will uh, create a very nice color weave or the blending of colors that I want here and the cobalt blue just add the cobalt blue here now I have a very nice blending of water here just there in the uh, Titanium white. I'm going to add also the titanium white here for the weaves or the bubbles effect. Just there. So let's continue adding this here for the weaves of the water. Just looking good. Let's continue. Very nice. It's very nice. Just there. Then adding more titanium white here for more waterfalls or the falling water. Just there. Just observe my brush strokes, guys. It's 
let's continue adding this here very nice this one also or I'm going to mix the sky blue color the blue and the white just paint here pour more fall or waterfall just there and I'm going to add more bubbles effect to this area the very uh, lower portion of this here I'm going to create the bubbles effect for my waterfalls just looking good and cobalt blue just add small cobalt blue little bit shading of this bubbles just there in the bubbles or the bubbles again the titanium white just looking good we have very nice water in that area or the falling water just blend here and just blend a little bit just looking good first I'm going to uh, detail detail this one uh, sky blue color a little bit upper portion here just looking good just there this one also oops it's more lighter I'm going to create a little bit dark and just blend just looking good just there in the marsh black color a little bit marsh black color here a small amount of marsh black to me to separate the uh, color of the or to create the shading in this area just there very nice looking good in that area there very good looking I just paint here a little bit small stones just mix the color of the sheen and the marsh black color mix this one just add here for my stones to this area just looking it then the marsh black color for the shading the stones just looking good very nice that area there now let's continue here I'm going to add more uh, a fading faded effect to this here so I'm going to mix more the sky blue color titanium white and the blue color let's paint here just there then add small water to my brush just paint oops Just paint this area here to create more faded uh, effects. Create more nicer effect to this area. Just scrub this brush to this here until you get the exact color that uh, that fit into this here. Just add more to this area sky blue color just scrub your brass scrubbing this brush here to create to blend the color of the sky blue to the background color and it it, it will create the faded effect effects to these plants and the flower uh, it looks like yeah very a uh, little bit far from here so that's it that's what I want there and the uh, I'm going to add the ochre green, ochre green here for the leaves of my of this gate, the green leaves to this gate here, the ochre green, 
just looking good in that area there. This one also, I'm going to create the balance of this gate. That's there. Then I'm going to uh, mix the color of the titanium white and the blue color to create the sky blue color. Just add small amount of marsh black or black color. Just like what I have here. The black color and the, to create the darker sky blue. I'm just paint here for my uh, post or made up of wood post or the uh, design of the gate on this area I'm using the uh, darker sky blue for this for my tree just there made up of wood this gate made up of wood so I'm going to create this one here very nice gate here that's it. I will not add this one here. I'm, I'm not going to add more uh, uh, wood. Or this one, this color, or this design here, because this this area is a uh, covered by the uh, leaves. That's why I did not uh, see this one, this side here. Your, uh, that one. And after that, I'm going to add also the lighter sky blue for this. Just mix the cobalt blue and the titanium white just more titanium white to create the lighter sky blue then just paint here for the uh, highlight of the side just there this one also just observe my brass position or the brass tip position Just there. Very nice. Very nice post. Or the post design. To this wood. Just looking good. And after that, I'm going to add also the, the darker sky blue. Just, just paint here. Oops. Going to add the breeze, breezes here. I'm going to add the breezes of this wood. Just continue there, create a very nice gate, just continue, just there, looking good in that area there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, paint also the hawker green a little bit here, to, uh, it looks like it covered by the leaves, this here, look like covered by the leaves of this uh, plants going to the upper portion this gate or the design of this gate just there I'm going to paint the hooker green directly paint the hooker green so that it will give more uh, uh, nice effect to this here it looks like the, this wood is covered by the leaves just there to create this, uh, it looks like a yeah, realistic looking gate for this uh, area, the hooker green. Now I have a very nice gate to that area there. And after that, the marsh black color. I'm gonna paint the marsh black color here for the opposite side of this uh, gate. I'm going to paint the Mars black color so that it will uh, give more emphasize this gate to the other uh, this plant here. This one also I'm gonna paint the darker color so that this gate will give more emphasize. Going to get my number four round brush for the uh, titanium white. I'm gonna paint here titanium white for the flowers or the base color of the flowers to this gate using this titanium white this is only the base color after that I am going to add also that a color I use the titanium white so that it will uh, 
uh, the color that I put there it will give more uh, nicer effect or give more uh, or attractive give more color to emphasize more color of this flower I should paint first the uh, base color using the type in white just there it's very nice good looking area to this gate just there I have lots of flowers on this gate lots lots of flowers just looking good in that area there I have lots of flowers in that area then after that I'm going to mix the color of the red color and the titanium white to create the pinkish color just like here just, just paint here for the flowers just looking good Just there, the pink flower. Let's continue adding this pink flower here or those. Just looking good. This one also. Gonna paint everything here, the pink flower, the pink flower. Just looking good in that area there. After that, I'm going to add detail to that flower there. Pink flower or the rose color. I'm going to add detail later. Just finish this first to create more pink flower here. Just there, very nice. Very nice flowers. It's looking good here. Very nice. And a good looking flower in that area there. Just continue adding with this color, the pink, pinkish color. Then after that, the red color or the scarlet red to give more uh, detail to this flower or the Highlight effect or the shading just there. Very nice, very nice flowers. Just continue adding this color to create more uh, nicer effect to this flower here. Very nice, just there. Just looking good for my flowers there. Just continue here. We have a very nice flowers gate. Flowering up this one. The flower design to my gate. I'm going to add more detail this one using this scarlet red. To give more a nicer effect to my gate or the flowers, just there. We're almost done with this flower here. Now we have a very nice, good-looking flowers in that area. I'm going to clean my brush first before I'm going to proceed that area there. Then the light green color for the leaves, for the leaves of these flowers here or the gate. Just selecting the area for this area here using this light green color. Let's continue adding this leaves color, the light green. I'm using the number four round brush for this. Very nice. 
very good looking a gate here I have just continue adding with these leaves to the flowers very very nice very good looking my gate here is very nice just there it's very good looking here let's continue adding with these leaves this gate and after that I'm going to detail this gate later after I'm going I done with this color the leaves I'm going to give detail that area to create more uh, nice and good looking uh, there nice very nice gate here I have just there it's very nice now I'm going to add more detail of that there so I'm going to add the uh, uh, yellow green color I'm going to add yellow green color here this portion because this portion is uh, affected by the highlight or the light color or the light source so I'm going to lighten that area there I'm going to uh, give more lighter that area. The upper portion here. Just give here lighter color. For this here. It's very good looking. And a very nice gate here I have. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to mix also the yellow green and the titanium white to create more light color or light green to create here for more uh, lighter effects or the highlight effect. This area. Just there. And also this one, the upper portion, I'm going to uh, give more highlight effect to this area. This one also. This one. It's looking good now. Very nice. That there. I have very nice gate on that area there. Then after that, I'm going to uh, give detail on this area, at the lower portion. So I'm gonna give a more uh, color of the stone on that area. I'm going to mix the color of the Rushina and the Mars Black color. Just mix these two colors, the Rushina and the Mars Black. Just paint here for the uh, stones on this area. To give more. Uh, Emphasize on this area here, the stones. I'm going to finish this here. Then the Mars black color. I'm gonna add also the Mars black color for detail of the stones to give more detail on the stones here. This area, just there. Then I'm going to add a crack effect to the stones. Using my number, number uh, four of round brass, just there, it's very nice now. Then I'm going to add also that one, the Nichols yellow, a little bit highlight effect for my stones, just there. In the in the cadmium orange, I'm gonna add also the cadmium orange just there. The cadmium orange just there, very nice. 
stones to that side in that area. Good looking stones there. Very nice. Now let's continue on this area here. I'm going to paint directly the marsh black color to create more nicer effect to this uh, stones. Oops. Carefully paint here the marsh black color. Just paint the marsh black color here. Just there. It's very nice. Good looking. Good looking to this area here. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to paint this one in a Rushina color. Let's paint the Rushina. Very nice. The Rushina color in this area. That there. The hooker green first. I'm gonna paint also the hooker green here to cover this here. I'm going to cover this one here and we cover with the plants or the leaves for this area. Just looking good in that area there. Then the Rushina color, just continue adding the Rushina color for the uh, the uh, stones on that or the soil. Just there. Very nice. Then the uh, cadmium orange, I'm going to add also the cadmium orange. Just add cadmium orange. Just continue adding with the cadmium orange here. Just selecting the area for my cadmium orange. Just there. I'm going to paint directly the purple color on this area. The purple color for my color of the plants. Base color only, the purple color. Color. First, I'm going to paint the Mars black color. Mars black color for my this one here. Just blend also this color. Just blend this Mars black color. Just there. I'm gonna paint everything here. The Mars black color. Also, you can use your lamp black color. It's the same. Just paint the purple color here for my uh, plants on this side. Color of my plants. And after that, the uh, cuba cobalt blue or the blue color. Going to add this one here for a little bit highlight effect of these plants. Just there. Then to add highlight that one, I'm going to mix the color of the, to create the sky blue, the blue and also the titanium white. Just paint a little bit here for the highlight effect that affected to this plant, to this area, to this side. Just there. And also this one here. The small amount. A small amount of highlight there. Just looking good. Just continue here. I'm going to add also this one. I think I'm going to add the uh, color of the. I'm going to paint directly this scarlet red for this area. Scarlet red, red for additional color of this plant on this area. Just there. Very nice. Then after that, I'm going to mix the color of the scarlet red and the titan titanium white, but it should be more scarlet red to create a little bit uh, pinkish color. This paint here. I'm not going to give more light. This one. Let's add more titanium white. Little bit highlight. Just small highlight. Let's add more titanium white.
just there. It's very nice. Good looking plants in that area there. Let's add more, more titanium white to the scarlet red. Just there. And after that, the scarlet red also. I'm going to add the scarlet red. Scarlet red here. Just there. It's very nice. Just looking good in that area there. Then after that, the uh, the yellow color. I'm going to add also the yellow color for the uh, small highlight of this area. Yellow or the cadmium yellow. You can also use the you can also use the uh, Hansa yellow, the medium yellow, or the that one there, just looking good in that area. It's very nice. Now for the uh, hooker green, I'm going to paint the hooker green here at the very lower portion. Just there, it's very nice now. And after that, the light green color, I'm going to paint the light green color. The light green color in this area. For more color of the plants to this area here. Light green color. It's very nice now. It's very, very uh, beautiful garden here. I have a beautiful garden. Just there. It's very, very beautiful. And after that, I'm going to mix the color of light green and also the titanium white to create more light color effect. Titanium white and the light green color. Just mix this one. Just paint here for the a little bit highlight to this light green color. Just add more titanium white to create more uh, light green color or lighter, more lighter color for the highlight. A small amount of highlight there. It's very good and very nice, good looking. Just add more light green color. Just there. It's very, very nice. And also the yellow green color. I'm going to add also the yellow green. Just a small amount of yellow green there. Very good looking. That area very nice. Now I'm going to uh, continue this one here. I'm going to use the smaller brush for that. There, I'm going to paint the uh, the uh, nipples yellow here. Just uh, add nipples yellow to this area to create more a uh, little bit lighter color or this this one is affected by uh, that one there it's very nice now I'm going to uh, add more uh, mix the nipple seal on the titanium white to create more lighter color just paint here for more highlight effect just add more titanium white to the nipples yellow for the highlight effect. This area here that are affected by the lights. That one there is very nice now. Then the light, the nipples yellow. I'm going to add also the nipples yellow. That one there is very good, nice color. Then the orange color, I'm going to add also the orange color. Orange color, the cadmium orange. That one there, it's very nice now. Very, very nice.
just looking good in that area there. Then after that, I'm going to add the uh, uh, algae. Algae with this. Oh, first, I'm going to finish this one first. Just add more uh, uh, Mars block with a dark color. Just add more dark color here for my stones. Just continue adding the dark color to this area. Using the Mars black color, uh, you can also use the lamp black color. Just blend this Mars black color with the dark color. I'm going to add also the lower portion, paint directly the Rushina. Just paint directly Rushina here, Rushina color. Just there. The Rushina color, just selecting the area here. Rushina, just looking good. Now we're going to continue that one there. The orange yellow. Or no, the orange or the cadmium orange. Just continue adding the cadmium orange here. Cadmium orange. Just there, it's very nice. Now the uh, maybe I'm going to add the algae effect to that area to create more nicer effect for this uh, painting. Just light green color. I'm gonna add the light green color for the algae effects. Light green color here, just there. Going to add more light green color for the algae effect to these stones, just there. It's very nice now, it's very good looking uh, garden here, and also the this one, the grasses. I'm going to add also the grasses. Just there, it's very, very nice, very, very fantastic color. Just add more light green color here for the grasses. Just there, it's very now nice now. Light green color, I'm gonna add the light green color. Wow, oh, it's very nice. I like this. I like this garden. I hope you like this also, guys. This is for you. Now, let's continue adding with this color. We have a very nice and colorful this one also, I'm going to add also here the grasses this here, that there is very nice now, and also this one I'm going to add also. I'm going to add the light green color in this area for my grasses there, also this one. The stones just there, it's very nice now. The light green color, also. I'm going to add the light green color here. Just continue adding this light green color to create a very nice color effect. That is here in the marsh black color. I'm going to add the marsh black color first and just blend this marsh black color because this area is not too much affected by the uh, lights. Just blend this a little bit to create the darker portion of this area. Whoops. Not too much. That should be uh, this one. That one there. 
now. Okay. I'm going to add a crock effect to this here. Crocs effect using the Mars black color. Just there. So this one. It's very nice now. Just there. Then after that, I'm going to add a uh, nipples yellow for this. Just add small nipples yellow. Just add more. Uh, a yeah, small amount of maple yellow to give more uh, detail on that area there. Maple yellow here, just yeah, small amount, just there, just good looking on that area there. Then after that, the yellow green color. I'm going to add also the yellow green color. yellow green color just there it's very nice it's very nice and very beautiful garden here so let's continue adding this light green or the yellow green color also this one I'm going to add yellow green just blend also this one the yellow green Just there. Very nice. And the yellow color, I'm going to add also the yellow color. The yellow color here. For the uh, highlight. Of these grasses, this area is affected with the uh, lights coming from the that the sun. That area there. That's why I'm going to add yellow color. Just there, looking good. Just add more uh, Rushina color first. Just looking good in that area. In the nipples yellow, I'm going to add the nipples yellow here. The nipples yellow. Just looking good in that area there. So this one, I'm going to add the nipples yellow. Nipples yellow here. Add the nipples yellow in this area. Wow, it's very nice now. It's very beautiful garden on that area there. And now guys, we're done with this painting demonstration. We have a very nice view here and a colorful painting. I hope this demonstration is helpful for you. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more free painting tutorial in the near future and also updates on my channel. You can also leave comments and hit like button below this video. And guys, thanks for watching. See you for my next painting demonstration. Peace.